Laura, Juan, Carmen, Inés, to talk about Carl Friedrich Goss. And because we know you're tired of learning text by heart and don't even know who you're talking about, we have come with this new method I'm sure you will enjoy. Okay, first of all, this man was known as the Prince of Mathematicians. He was born in Brunswick. What? I've never heard of that. Hey, hey, don't stress out. We'll see what it is. Are you going to Google Maps? Yes. Well, there oh. it is, Brunswick. Brunswick is a city in the state of Lower Saxony, in Germany. Nowadays, it's the second largest city in Lower Saxony and a major center of scientific research and development. Oh my God. We have to visit it. And what is his picture? That is the flag of the city. It's what about him? Uh, Goss was a child prodigy. Although his family was poor, um, he achieved to study at a great university. And what did he study, Laura? Okay, if we, have, if we want to know about his studies, we'll have to come to this website. Well, you have everything answered. So let's wait to, okay. Um, education and contribution to mathematics. As his mother was illiterate, she had no record of his birth date. Being a child prodigy, Gus used some calculations to work it out himself. His teachers straight away spot the potential when he added up to the first to 100 integers. By noticing that the result was 50 first of number, the answer of each sum was 101. In his teenage, he had made some amazing mathematical discoveries, and by the time he was 21, he had already finished with his magnum opus, Disquisitiones Artimaticae, in 1798. Did he discover something? Yes, of course. Really? Here we go. Here we have some of the images proving uh, his discoveries. And then, if we click here, we are going to know what he really discovered. He was the first one in uh, the proof of the fundamental theorem of algebra. As Laura meant uh, this uh, weird word, it is just the arithmetic laws of mathematics. He also uh, found out the theorema egregium. He developed the early theories of complex an analysis, as you can see in this image here. And at the end, he uh, did some work in physics and astronomy. That's great. Yes. Okay. So, mm, but, well, he seems to be a really smart person, but what about his personality? Was he outgoing or something? Yeah. Carl Goss was an ardent perfectionist and a hard worker. He was never a prophetic writer, refusing to publish work which he did not consider complete and above criticism. His personal diaries indicate that he made several important mathematical discoveries years or decades before, before his contemporaries published them. Before she died, Sophie German was recommended by Gauss to receive her honorary degree. She never received it. Gauss supported the monarchy and opposed Napoleon, oh. whom he saw as an outgrowth of revolution. That's impressive. Yes, he seemed to have a strong personality. He has. A, a lot of people gave uh, commemorations to him because of he was such an important person. Like a uh, crater on the moon uh, was called Gauss. Uh, also uh, an asteroid uh, co was called Gaussia. Okay, did you know that the first German Antarctic expedition ship was called Gauss? And there's also an extinct volcano discovered by the above mentioned expedition called Gosberg. It is a ghost tower too, and it is an observation tower. And in some Canadian junior high school, there is a competition called Ghost because of him, in honor of his mathematical discoveries. Wow. And also here, there is a German 10 uh, banknote uh, because of him, uh, because it was the country where he was born. All right. But what happened with him? As uh, everything in life seems come to an end, and God's life uh, didn't was an exception. So here we have the, the exactly cause of his death. death. Well, we have to know that Gauss died in Göttingen in the kingdom of Hanover 
on 23 February in 1855. Okay, so coming back to the presentation, um, yes, we'll see, wait a minute. A famous note, I quote. Yes, a famous quote of um, Carl Friedrich Gauss. The enchanting charms of this sublime science, mathematics, reveal only to those who have the courage to go deeply into it. Carl Friedrich Gauss. We hope we, you've enjoyed it as we did and that you have learned so much because we have done it too. So a big applause to Carl Friedrich Gauss because he deserves it. See you again. Goodbye. Bye. Nothing of this would have been possible if you hadn't paid us so much attention. Thank you. Thank you for um, teaching us all these programs and showing us that it can be possible to learn at the same time you're having fun. Thank you, too, for all the time you've been available for us and um, for being so a good um, um, teacher. In conclusion, we are so thankful and we owe you all of this. Oh, th th thank you, uh, Laura, uh, Carmen, and, and Juan. Uh, I am very, very happy that uh, my, my students uh, are happy. Thank you. Okay.